I overheard you talking with Sam. Not all of it, but enough. I want the truth. What else is Sam keeping from you? I don't know what you think you You don't trust Sam with the kids. I feel that way about anyone you were dating. Because she did something, Elizabeth. Something she obviously didn't intend on telling me. You need to ask Sam. I'm asking you. I'm wondering if you keeping something from me. Something she intended on keeping. And this is between you and Sam. You and I are supposed to be working together as Jake's parents. I'm pretending to be that little boy's father to protect him from Jason's enemies. But it doesn't end there. If you believe that Sam could be a danger to him. I was angry when I said those words. So you didn't mean it. Sam can watch the boys and you're fine with it. I never liked Sam. I never trusted her. She used you as a way to get back at me and Jason. I let her. But things change. A person doesn't change. Come on, did you think that you would ever really be able to trust her? Are you ever really going to trust me? What? Well, if a person doesn't change, I'll always be a lying pill popper in your eyes. But this is different. No, how is it different? What does Sam do that's got you so worried? So sure that it's going to send me over the edge, diving back into a bottle of pills? <clears throat> Stop protecting me! Just tell me the truth. We are both... You can't shield them from this life anymore, Sonny. And you knew this day would come. And you think it's not going to come for you because you walked away from your kid? Lucky might break. Lucky is one piece of bad news away from trying to drown himself in a bottle of pain pills. That was your excuse for lying to me every day, letting me believe that Jake was my son. I was worried about you. Stop it's hiding behind reason. that. Stop treating me like I'm damaged goods. That's not what I'm doing. Emily was strangled to death by somebody that I worked with, my brother has an inoperable brain tumor. My father could be lying dead in a ditch somewhere. All the great excuses for relapse, Elizabeth, but I haven't. I just want to know why you're holding back. Why won't you tell me the truth? Because you're happy. But as much as I can't stand Sam, what she did was in the past. Maybe you should just leave it there. You think I should pretend I never heard you in the same argument? Let things go on the way they are. For now. Go on living another lie. I appreciate that you want to make up for the past, but this isn't the way. I think we both learned that it can only make things worse the longer the lie goes on. It happened before things had changed between you and Sam, when she was still desperate to hang on to Jason. She knew I had given him the child she couldn't, and it was killing her inside. The day in the park when Jake was kidnapped. What did Sam do? Nothing. What did she do? After Sam and I spoke, she didn't leave the park right away. She was there when it happened. In fact, she watched a mentally unstable woman reach into the stroller and take Jake. She saw me turn around from tying Cameron's shoe and find Jake gone. She heard me screaming. She saw me coming apart at the seams and yet she just stood there and watched and did nothing. Thank you. Wait, you might as well know. There's more. 
you know those gunmen in the park that threatened me and the boys? The ones claiming to be Jason's enemies? Yeah, the ones Sam chased them. Well, it was no accident that Sam showed up when she did. <sighs> she hired them, Lucky. To drive home how dangerous it would be for Jake to be a part of Jason's life. She did not want Jason claiming his son. Lucky, Lucky, what are you going to do? <sighs> Nothing to do with my decision to give up Jake. Why do you say that? I can hear it in your voice. You're, ju you're judging It's not that. judgment, it's no. worry. For Michael. Sonny, who I think of like a son, and for you. What are you going to do, man? You don't have to find out. Get out of here. Dead wrong. 